Howdy, and welcome to the Lunch Table, a podcast where Drew has a history of losing his shirt. And I like to laugh at funerals. Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. Yes, Sailor Moons, the cartoon that got the boom to make me think the wrong things. And that's right. I like a sushi, and I never like a frying pan. My low energy man today. The guy who had to replunge his basement. My co-host, Drew. Be careful with me, I'm pretty sick today. Watsonizer! This is me two days feeling better. I don't know, dude. You canceled several times. Several times. And it hurt my feelings. Actually, the last time you canceled, I was really happy because I was about to get out of work early. You were going to bring over a deck. And I the guy, mean, you still could have came over. You chose not to. You chose yourself. Yeah. Over my, my health. Happiness. I chose my health. And the guy who chose his health, your host with the most. Oh, uh, videos on Pornhub. Yes, all of them. <laughs> More than all of them, like twelve. Okay, all of mine are twelve. I only have eleven butthole pictures. Videos. I have stuff with and hours without long. oil, just like Diddy. A lot a of baby oil. Of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carl, don't freak off, man. <laughs> they don't, is it a competition or is he being polite? I'm going to freak off. I'm going to freak off. Let's get into it. Dude, don't die. Dude, don't die. You're sick. You're sick. Don't die. Drew, don't die. I'll tell you how sick I am. I haven't even been in the gym. What? I haven't even been in the gym. Oh, dude. You're so sick. You're like you're like fucking marble mouth over there. I ain't in the gym. Yeah. I eat eggs. Right. I flex. So I called off work. Okay, yeah, you did. You called well, yeah. It never happens. Ever? No. I never call off work. Why don't you call off work? I just don't do it. Ever? No. I'm normally never this sick. So normally. So even if I have a, <laughs> yeah. I'll still come in. So normally. I'm a millennial. You're sitting there telling me, and you're looking me straight in the face and say normally that you always go to work. Yeah. Me too. I don't know. Well, I don't get paid if I don't go to work. Right. I have no sick days, I guess. I get paid for the haircuts I do. Right. I get paid if I'm not there, but it cuts into my vacation time as opposed to sick time. Yeah. I don't get sick time. Um, but not really even my choice. I was going to bed and I was feeling a little sick. Not as sick mm-hmm. as I was when I woke up in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I said, Morgan, I'm very sick. She goes, you should just call off of work tomorrow. I said, no, I don't do that. She goes, I know. You never do it. So I woke up 6 o'clock in the morning, fucking dragging ass, yeah. dying. And I thought, oh, man, if I call my boss and say I'm not going to be in, I'm going to give him like 20 minutes of notice. So what's my millennial ass do? Call him. No, I drive to work. <laughs> okay I walk in the door I clock in Uh oh Mind you 15 minutes early Cause my millennial ass Yeah And I look at my boss And he goes You look bad <laughs> Oh god He goes What is wrong with you I'm like I'm sick He goes Obviously He goes Go home don't get anybody else sick. Don't touch anything on your way out. Just go home. Damn. I was like, no, I got a lot of stuff to do. He goes, it's not that bad. Go home. Damn. <laughs> so I use the bathroom, clock out, and go home. Yeah. And immediately come back and go to sleep. <laughs> nice. So when do you have to go back? Oh, I've been back yesterday and today. <laughs> oh, and he's like, you're still sick? Uh, Probably past contagious. Yeah. I don't know. This, I, like I said, is two days feeling better. Yeah. Imagine how What did I, you catch? I don't know. 
What did you touch? I don't know. Are you kissing dirty women? I guess. Was your woman dirty? I don't know. That's what my dad says when I get sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, she's clean. Yeah, was she? She's squeaky clean. I don't know. She I know works she's with, She clean. works with around a lot of people. Oh, she's still off. She's been quarantined by herself. Yeah, playing, me. playing in her own filth. Yeah. No, that's not, yeah, that's still dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you dirty, <laughs> you dirty man. <laughs> dirty. So you're another uncle. I am another uncle. First off, what are we doing today, Drew? Mad Libs. We're doing Mad Libs. But <laughs> normally I read them. And for obvious reasons, my throat hurts. <laughs> So, so the Carl has graciously said that he would uh, be forced to read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't gracious nothing. I whined and I, said, I cried. You do it, and I stomped my feet like a five year old, and I lost. Yeah, I lost. It didn't work this time. Usually, I get my way. Usually, it's from a smile on my dimples <laughs> or me throwing a fit and being a Karen, but not today. So, stay tuned to hear me read. This product was <laughs> brought to you by <laughs> Make a Wish. <laughs> oh, am I going to die? <laughs> Is the cast of Game of Thrones coming to see me? <laughs> Are they coming? Are they coming, sir? True. What's your favorite Powerpuff girl? <laughs> They'll be here in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> bubbles. I want bubbles. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> bubbles. <laughs> I want a threesome with them all at the same time. Dude, they crush you, man. And they got no fingers or toes. Uh, but before that gets misconstrued as a bad thing, <laughs> the Powerpuff Girls have been on for like 25 years. They're still they're, girls, dude. No, they're 25 years old. No, they're That's still the a point. Girl body. No, they aren't. What do you call their body? They're not G- walking around G- full adults. Gary Coleman was not five years old. You're making a good argument here. <laughs> Maybe they're just midgets. <laughs> it's true. Is that the but corrected, you, what about that is girl? That the corrected who, vinacular. What? Little people? I don't know. I don't. The dwarfs? Dwarfs? No, dwarfs. Uh, no, dwarfs no, is bad. Different. Dwarf is bad. Why? I don't know. They don't like dwarf. No, 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 no. I thought there was a level to dwarf, right? Isn't a dwarf like someone <laughs> in between like four foot and then someone under a dwarf is a midget? Isn't there like different levels? <laughs> kind of like the spectrum. Isn't it? It floats, right? Like this is like an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> There's kind of a level, but you know the water's always choppy. <laughs> <laughs> Although the term dwarf is often used, and dwarfism is a medical term, people are not comfortable with that term. Little person or person of short stature. <laughs> Both those sound insulting. Are generally hello, little person. More acceptable. The M word is highly offensive. And considered a derogatory or oppressive term. Well, we all know moron is a wrong word to say. <laughs> Jeez. But what's wrong with midget? I don't know. I don't know. You ever get mad if someone called you some weird name? Yeah, you probably have. You're spiteful. Like pork pie? Yeah. <laughs> Plushy? Yeah. Look, that. See? Yeah, that one. It still hurts. stab you. You're right? That one still, yeah. Yeah. And you know the worst thing of all? Herpes. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's, I know, let's not misconstrued that. that. You have it forever. Uh, but the guy who came up with it usually doesn't win comeback arguments. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, usually he's the pick on E. Yeah. And this time, yeah, he R- got you. Our E or. Dude. It's like when a team you know you're just a hundred times better than beats, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And then you just get real angry. Yeah. And then you want to blame everything, dude. So okay, you told me this area was filled with water again. Going back to my original thought, congratulations, Jared and Courtney. Uh, congrats on your new baby. Baby yes, Franklin. They baby Franklin. They text me when am I coming to see my new nephew? And I was like, dang, I didn't even know he was home. Yeah. Yeah. I know him from Courtney's Twitter. Oh, I'm to not on her Snapchat. Twitter. Oh, I'm, I don't check Snapchat. <laughs> she posts like 40 times a day. Oh, I dude. love her, but I might have to. 
hey. not blocker, but limit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, yo, court. Show, you got three Show kids. me at the end of the day. <laughs> All right. All right. You got three kids. Show me a picture of them maybe in the morning and at night. That's it. You know what I mean? Now you got to pay attention to them. <laughs> I don't want you taking a picture for Uncle Drew and... <laughs> oh, no. She posted on her story. Oh, geez. I don't get, I don't get direct messages. That'd oh, be kind of creepy. Geez. It would be. Well, of her children. Yeah, it would be a little It'd be kind of creepy. Yeah. One uncle I send private videos to. The other one likes to mess with him behind the Dairy Queen. <laughs> 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 the best uncles ever. <laughs> what are their names? Carl and Drew. <laughs> you should get a league name they're in. <laughs> <laughs> on the internet, they call me princess. <laughs> uh, yeah, water. Uh, there's water uh, I- interrupting our, our podcast area. This happened. Okay, so you've been having this issue. What, things down here have flooded a bunch. Yeah. It's an older house. Uh, the can water isn't, it can be fixed, but the company isn't going to put the time and effort into it to do that. So for right now, it's just kind of maintenance all the time. It's going to be washed. The pipes are going to be washed out all the time. It was supposed to be every two weeks. Now it's every, or every two months. Now it's every four weeks. So every month. Yeah. yeah. I know they like to confuse us with 12 months, but there's an extra four weeks, dude. Right. That makes a whole nother month. It's like when people say their baby's 13 months old. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a year old. It's a, you're yeah, between it's a, one year, and two. Yeah. You're, just say one year. Yeah. No one cares about a year and a half. I know, the, I know the little kids do. I know when you're about to be six, right? I'm five and like seven, okay? I'm 5.7. I'm almost there. I'm five and a half. Just you know, like, just like you think you're six foot, dude. I am so six foot. <laughs> if six foot was a thing, you would see it, and you would see me being it. You're five eleven and a negative. No, dude, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot with dwarfism. But <laughs> I think what he's getting at is uh, I have a story attributed to. There being water down here in the basement. Well, I just want to know how you cleared it out. You told me it was like up past your ankles in here. It was. Not in here. Like you were swimming, Just a little dude. bit. I wasn't swimming. <laughs> you were like, it's all over my laundry. It was. It was down there. You're like, you're like, dude, I walked down there. There was a six-foot wave. I had to get a boat. <laughs> I had a boogie board to stop back There was up. a killer turd. I thought it was a I shark. I had a lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> there was this fin, right? I thought it was a dorsal fin coming at me. I thought it was about to be dead. Here it was just a shell nut and one big turd. No, oh, but where you're going, yeah, is uh, I have a story with this being um, filled with water. Uh, now, for those of you at home uh, or in places of two thousand leagues under the sea is what he said to me. <laughs> for those of you in public or uh, just a little squeamish. There might be some explicit material in this story. Floating and, around. And lots of dinging. So just be careful. You said not to make you edit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got home from work. Ding. The, the, day that it, <laughs> the day that it flooded. And at this point, it had not flooded. Uh, and I decided to do all of my dishes. And Morgan had cooked two nights in a row. And I was busy the first night, so there were two nights worth of dishes stacked up in the sink. And I did it. I just I cleared through all these dishes, went around the house, even found some of the dishes that were in the living room or something that I hadn't gotten picked up. Mm. And uh, I figured, hey, let me you know, go take a shower before bed and uh, throw some laundry in, too, while I do that. So I decided to strip naked. And throw my clothes in the hamper that I am going to take down <laughs> to the basement. Okay. Because I'm going to wash those clothes, and then I'm just going to go right hop in the shower. And the only person here is my fiance, who already sees me naked. Ha. 
Mm-hmm. I walk around my house. I, dude, I sleep naked right. like every night. Yeah. It's okay. I get it. I understand. My house is a naked house. We actually have a curtain now around the corner. <laughs> and we always yell, you dressed when we bring someone over. So I get it. Nice. Yeah. You dressed? Ah, right, cool. We drew here. <laughs> so I walk down here to bring my laundry down and I notice a little bit of water. And with the water, there's always a smell. Mm. So I walk around the corner and it is so high. So I mind you. Like Snoop Dogg. I'm naked. Like Snoop Dogg, I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm naked. No socks, no shirt, no pants, no underwear, no nothing. Naked. And my drain is plugged up. What? And I figure the best way to mess with this is to plunge it. Uh oh. So I grab the plunger and try and go over to the drain and try and plunge it. It's not working. So ankle deep. Ankle deep. Skin. In shit water. Skin to finkle matter touching. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your, you know how absorbent skin is? I know. That might be why I'm sick. This probably is. Yeah. You just let all the finkle matter and shit that was trying to get out of your body back in. Yeah. They're like, oh, thank the Lord. We thought we were dead. <laughs> If we grip together, <laughs> we'll get back in there. So when the plunging didn't work, then you decide to plunge harder. And, of course, that's when spray backs start to happen. Oh. Spraying on the hands. Spraying on the first thing that is affected when you bend over. Your mouth. Oh, your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. So you bent over, and where's this pipe? In between my legs. As you bent over yeah. to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. And it just... It covers me. Uh, it covers me. Well, not your back. Not my back. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So your front was covered. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> it's like buttered toast, and now I know which way you would fall. Ne- never got in my eyes. I will say that. That's good. All over my hands. Everything. In your mouth? I don't think so. I don't How know. do you not know? I don't know. I didn't, didn't taste it. <laughs> you didn't come out there like, I was already oh, pretty fucking pissed. And of course, the laundry chute isn't exactly lined up with the box that I have sitting down there. So there's laundry sitting in the shit water. And I'm still covered in this. And I finally get it to drain a little bit. Yeah. And I'm sitting there waiting in this ankle deep shit water to go down the tube. And I'm wondering, like, I should get, like, a squeegee or something. I don't have a squeegee. Uh, even though this is, like, the tenth time this has happened. Not this bad. This the, is probably the best. You the should, worst that's ever happened. You should prepare, dude. I should. If I, I, life has told you, hey, prepare for this. I have a shop back down here. Not so. enough. So, I... <laughs> not enough, bro. I actually had all the water drained down. And uh, then I grabbed the shop back. And they can't make, like, a temporary pump that holds, like, excess water for a while that you can pick up and destroy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, t- I'm talking with the landlord guy about a whole bunch of different things. Okay. But uh, I shop back it all up. And, of course, I grab the shop back hose, and it flips out of my hands a few times and hits and sprays me, and I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. And uh, I walk upstairs after finishing everything. Mind you, this is 1230 at night. I was already going to bed late, Ooh. and I had to wake up at four in the morning for work. Ooh. Because I'm a millennial. <laughs> Apparently, millennials work. I get to the window of the basement door, yeah. and I knock on it, and Morgan comes through, <clears throat> and she goes, Oh my God, what happened? And I'm like, I need you to meet me out on the porch with the hose. <laughs> One o'clock at night. <laughs> Just you, me, and the neighbors, and the neighbors, and anyone in space, and a cold hose and, a, and water on me. <laughs> Sound like a good time, babe? So I'm fucking pissed taking a cold shower because <laughs> I can't use uh, my shower. Yeah, and you know the the very worst part: if a neighbor did see, you're you're at your smallest. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. Right. Come on, dude. If you're going to judge me, let it let it be hot and me walking around or something. <laughs> I, like, don't judge me now. 
It's cold. It's a hose. It's cold. I just took my Vienna sausage out the can. My Vienna schnitzel just shrinks when it's cold. And then I get sick. So I might have to is attribute it, is it. it. How much cheese have you eaten? Oh, it might be withdrawal. It might be. That's what I'm saying. Although Morgan's going through it too. But to be fair. Right. She got a bad cholesterol review. Well, so she'd been cutting down on cheese anyways. Dun, dun, dun. Coincidence. I did have cut cheese today in my car. That's why you died. So. What, no, I, I don't know where my car spoon is. Drew, you're not alive right now. Bro. I don't know where my car spoon is. We've been dead for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Your car spoon's in my ass. That's where it is. <laughs> so, like the man I am... Taking the cottage cheese container and pushing it together ah. like a taco, <laughs> like ah, and pouring it out into my mouth you don't wanna, as I'm driving down the highway. You don't want to see me at home, dude. I just try at home. Tacos? Oh, whatever foods, like snacks, dude. Yeah. Don't stand a chance. Oh, I got snacks upstairs for you. Don't let me forget those. Nice. Ones. I got those cookies, the pumpkin cookies. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love those. Ew. No, they're great. I love all the fall. I'm I'm kind of a white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm kind of a white bitch. I, and so is my girl. Because she ended up liking them too. Mm-hmm. I don't think she classifies as white. She, t- to her people. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it all the time said to her. She's like she, she's still black she's to like, me. Okay, she's like a foreign person, right? When they come over here, and then we're like, "You don't sound like us." And then they go back home, and they've picked up some of her accent, and then they're like, "You don't sound like us," right? <laughs> and, and now they just don't belong anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we tainted them. Right. I dare you go and get a different accent. CJ, you want to do some Mad Libs? Yes, we'll do a couple Mad Libs. Drew, the first one, there's a bunch of selections here. Okay. And I've been going through them. And the first one I want to pick is the instructions for the babysitter here. A short, it's simple, a a quick way to get into this. And I feel like, come on, we can think of funny things that a babysitter may have to do. Okay. Okay. Should we make this one dingy? Don't. No. Okay, sure, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's your. It's how much work you want to do. I'm just going to make them objectively Snoop Dogg-ish. Ooh. We're like Cheech and Chongy. We got it. Oh, do you want Cheech and Chongy? I think, I mean. I mean Adjective. High. Oh, I like that. High. Uh, plural noun, joints. Joints. Ooh. Joints. Joints. I like that. Plural noun. Hmm. Icky stickies. I like that. Icky stickies, Drew. Oh, wow. Uh, Another plural noun. Smelling trees. I don't, you're going to have to explain that to me. I don't know. People call it, call them trees, the nuggets, and they uh, smell bad. Oh. Uh, so, mm. uh, plural noun, paraphernalia. I don't know. Does that count? That's plural nouns. It can encompass multiple things. That's true. Bongs. Bongs is <laughs> much better. Rolling <laughs> papers. Oh, enter noun. Rolling paper. Adjective. <laughs> or adverb. Adverb. I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> what about another noun? Um, Snoop Dogg himself. Snoop Dogg. And Diddy. (laughs) Uh, Hungerly. Hungerly. There you go. All right, man. Here you go. Let's see. Okay. Instructions for the babysitter by Carl. (laughs) The boys can watch an hour of high television before turning off the joints in their room. Nice. Nice. I like to Do you turn them off? I guess that's... Do you turn off joints? That's what they call it. Listen, 
I guess if they're using an electronic one, which, come on, they're young. They're boys. Vape. They would be vaping or something like that. Yep. Make sure they do not watch any violent, icky, sticky, or adult-smelling trees. Yeah, that's good. Can't watch them. No, Iggy Sticky does sound like porn. (laughs) And smelling trees does sound kind of raunchy. Like I'm teabagging. So I like that. If there there are any phone bongs, do not identify yourself (laughs) as a rolling paper sister. (laughs) It's true. If they lose this deal of rolling papers, it's not good. If they learn that you have rolling papers as the sitter, you're going to get fired because you're going to roll up all the time. Well, no. They're saying don't identify yourself as that. Right. So they the, know. Then they're going to know. They know. Well, I'm saying the parents already know. Oh. I think, I think they're working a deal here, right? Oh. They're like, hey, you sell these for us. That's how we, you know, <laughs> make our money. <laughs> so don't, don't identify yourself. Don't let the kids get into my weed. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Do not identify yourself as the rolling paper sitter. Take a message, write it hungrily on the Snoop Dogg himself provided. Just got it sitting beside the phone. <laughs> yeah. Just got a hungrily. Snoop- you had- Dude, I want a Snoop Dogg statue now. <laughs> you know like the like the bulldog that waves? I want I want a Snoop Dogg statue. <laughs> Can we do that? We could. We could do that. We could do a lot of things, Drew. But unfortunately, laws don't let us because we can't be free. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Like, could you do that if you edit it? Yes, but are you going to do it? No, because you feel like poop. Although, <laughs> looking at you now, you you look better. Laughter's right. helping, I right. think. Laugh the cancer away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Tell him, uh, tell him a little early, why don't you? <laughs> What's your next one here, bud? Uh, Take me out to the ball game. Birthday fun. How to do laundry. Going to the movies. Mm-hmm. Trip to the store. Going Birthday to the doctor. Fun. Ooh, going to... Actually, I like... Go- Adjective. Mm. Mm. Come soaked. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Enter place. In a place? In a place. In her place? A place. A place. Mm-hmm. Let's see. My butthole. <laughs> uh, adjective. Oh, no. Mother's couch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do mother's okay. couch. <laughs> I like that. Adjective. Mm, bloody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, enter an adjective. Um, Swirly. STD written. Mm, that's too. That's too. Out, you got to make it fit a little bit sneaky. You know what I mean? Like drippy. <laughs> <laughs> like think about maybe what can happen, right? Our guy's walking in here. He's cum soaked from his mother's couch and bloody. And something's dripping. Maybe enter, it's his dick. Enter a piece, piece of clothing. Scarf. Oh, good one. That's a good one. Scarf. I tried to grab my mother's scarf to stop the dripping. <laughs> Another body part. Ooh. Uh, oh, Achilles. Okay. Just the tendon? <laughs> yeah, just, just, yeah, just the tendon. Another body part. Mm, eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Another body part. I think you need to use one of the big ones here. <laughs> Earlobe? Is that a big okay. one? Okay. Adjective. Mm. Let's see. Gritty. <laughs> <laughs> Noun. Mm. Milkshake. No, nope. I'm going to override. Oh. Buck tooth. Buck to- I like that. <laughs> I'm going to override buck tooth. <laughs> Another noun. Oh, uh, tampon. Ooh, good one. Good one. Place. Doctor's office. <laughs> We're at the doctor's office. Dick or lick doctor's office. Oh, I would dick it. 
That ain't going in my mouth. All those <laughs> sick people and sitting there and them being mad. Last one here. Adjective. Mm, stumpy. Fiery? Infected. Infected <laughs> infected i like that here you go bud oh my god it looks gross going to the doctors by carl every year you should go visit the doctor it is a very clear it it is a very cum soaked visit (laughs) yes usually you have to skip going to mother's couch to go your doctor is usually a bloody man or woman who is wearing a drippy scarf. <laughs> because this scarf soaked. I can see that, yeah. Well, all this fits. You do you do have to skip mother's couch to go to the doctor's. That's not a lie. Right. You, you have to can't. get up off it and go do it. Right. And honestly, it would be a cum soaked visit if they're a very bloody man with a drippy scarf. Although <laughs> I was measuring up. But hey, we're not here to judge. They will look at your Achilles tendon. Nice. Eyebrow and earlobe. Your Achilles tendon, eyebrow, and earlobe. So this bloody man with a scarf. They will. Let me see your eyebrow. Dude, I've never once heard a doctor say, let me check your Achilles tendon. <laughs> <laughs> or earlobe. Uh. Nope. Out of here. <laughs> I was told this was going to be a cum-soaked adventure. <laughs> Apparently not, dude. This is, you're just getting touched weirdly. And there's random blood. Who knows where it's from? Sir, go back to the waiting room. You don't belong here. <laughs> Sometimes they can be very gritty. Afterwards, they will give you a buck tooth and a tampon. And your mom or dad will take you to the doctor's office. This as a treat. All in the doctor's office isn't so infected. Oh, that was good. They give you a buck tooth and a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's why every kid's fucked up. <laughs> then after the doctor's office, your mom and dad will take you to another one. Uh, and then another one, and another one, and another one. It's just a never-ending, so stopping you, process. Just to hope you never get infected. Uh, I don't know why it's a cum so Because I want it to be, god damn it. That doesn't sound like very pleasant things to me. Yes, it does. No, It, it does. sounds very fun. I don't think a bloody scarfed man or woman <laughs> <laughs> coming to check out my Achilles eyebrow and earlobe. It's going to make me shoot anything, Drew. All right, man. This is a real quick one here. Uh, well, the last one here. My name is Joe. <clears throat> My name is Joe. Uh, and a person's name. Oh. Uh, Joe Biden. Uh, Gilbert. Joe Biden. Okay. Verb. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Plays at work. Plays at work? Place of work. Oh, place of work. A uh, coffee shop. Oh, Morgan, that's funny. <laughs> Enter plural noun. Mm, so, n- uh, root beers. January 6th riders. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like where you're going. Enter plural noun. Ooh. Mm, children. Plural noun. Ooh. Fireworks. Hair follicles. <laughs> okay. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Shampoos. Enter another person's name. Oh, easy. Shamu. <laughs> Susan. Susan? Little Susan. L I L. L I L. Apostrophe. Susan. Susan. Come on, dude. The Democrats need that vote, dude. <laughs> Verb. Mm, I like this. Licked. Smelled. Rapping. Singing. Sing. Okay. Yeah. 
fall. Fall. I like fall. Fall? He falls down the stairs. <laughs> and another person's name. Oh, my God. So many people's names. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one's got to be, let's see. Uh, Gilmore Del Toro. Vincent McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> Although he likes Trump. Let's try a different one here. Mm. Liu Kang. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Exclamation. Oh. Pow. Wow. Ooh. Kazam. <laughs> Enter person's name. Last thing. Oh, one last name. Okay. Give me something here. Shaq. We're going to have. Oh, I like that Shaq. Shaq's always everywhere. Yeah. It was either him or Slash, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is small. Hey, my um, name is Joe. My name is Joe. Read the first name. <laughs> I see that. I see that. My name is Joe by Carl and Drew. <laughs> <clears throat> the last Mad Lib of tonight. Hello, my name is Joe Biden. And I old and in a morgue. <laughs> I have a January 6th rioters. <laughs> A children in a hair follicle. Okay, so, so far we have Joe Biden. So far we're spot on. Who's old and in a morgue, which, yeah, he probably is. And they also have a bunch of rioters, children, and hair follicles. Let's see where the story goes. We're good. We're good so far. All, all true. <laughs> Maybe. In the story. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the story that may or may not be true. One day, my little Susan, he said to me, Are you falling, Liu Kang? I said, Kazam! My name is Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> that's not spot on! <laughs> that's, that's, we, this is a speech I feel like he would give at the end. We, I feel like Joe Biden has gave this, One day, my little Susan, he said to me, Are you going, or are you falling, Liu Kang? I said, Kazam! My name is Shaq. That's, uh... Joe Biden's last words? We're in his head. <laughs> <laughs> we know what he's thinking. Yeah, a glitch. <laughs> if you're glitching like he is, we're on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcasts at the Lunch Table PBJ. That's probably how you're listening to us right now, so if you are... Keep going ahead and doing that, 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 turn us up! That, 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 that. Yeah. Also, we got a lot of listeners. Something I want to talk about. I'm sorry. I do. I wanted to get this out. Uh, we've been told to do more takeouts multiple times. <clears throat> and you know what? We will. We'll do a takeout. Right. But we need some love, dude. And uh, like, at least tell us what, what, what movie. What yeah. Takeout. What do you want? Let's see. When, when we put it out, let's see. Let's see some likes on it. Because I get a lot of, we need to do it, but then it's, it doesn't seem as popular as some of our other stuff. And they take a while to film. So, you know, we need to, I just want pet. That's all I want. Fucking fluff me up a little bit. Jesus Christ. We're on YouTube. A Rumble Lunch Table PBJ. That's how you can watch us. Uh, probably as some of you are doing right now. We really appreciate it. You are... Go ahead and do it there. Should go ahead and do it. Also, a lot of people listen to us apparently. Still on Spotify. Yeah. Go you guys. Thank you. I didn't realize this. So I'm gonna be trying to be more descriptive. Yeah. In some of the sense. Now that I know we have a decent following. Right. So. You can't see how quirky we are, but you can hear us. Yeah, I guess. I guess people. Here's the thing. A lot of these people are, know me. So right. they see me on a weekly basis in a sense. And Maybe they still that, want to listen to my voice? Maybe that's why they don't want to look at you. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> They're probably falling in love with me. We're on Twitter. At Lunch Table PBJ. Uh, so if you, you are, go stay. ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can stay up to date on some of the stuff that we're doing as well as take care of our polls. I love when you take care of our polls. Yeah. What's Did the you? Poll? <laughs> The poll this week is, did you think this episode was going to be a cum-soaked adventure? <laughs> I like that. 
No, I, don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that past you two. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> we'll Spotify! Spotify totally can. <laughs> We're on Facebook at the Lunch Table PBJ, as well as our fan page, Munchies. That's how you can really stay up to date and everything that we're doing, as well as tell us how we're doing. Tell us what movie you want us to do for a takeout. Show us some love. Leave some comments. Yeah. I didn't realize it was popular. Right. I'm stupid. We're on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts at the Lunch Table PBJ. CJ takes care of those. He does a wonderful job. and uh, I did good reading. I was going to say that. Okay. Because I'm sick. It's my Twitch. Oh, I have sick. a disability, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> we never make fun of any disabilities. We're on Patreon. You would be one of those people that gives a little bit extra. Uh, Keep go ahead and doing that. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, you always give extra. It fits there. It's good. You want you want to bring that back at the end? Is that how we're doing it from now on? Sure. I don't know. I'm going to change it up, I feel like. You want to be one of those people that gives <laughs> a little bit extra. Helps me get over this cold. Uh, that's the way to do it. People said they love our randomness, and that's why they listen to Drew. Yeah! My advice is, your skin's absorbent. Be careful what you put on it. Where's Peanut butter. And jelly. <laughs> You're sick, and I think your gooch will get me sick if you sit on top of my lip. I want Drew. Your bacteria would rats. drip out, right? And then I'd get sick. That's how bacteria is happening. Can we swap communicable uh, snot? I don't even know what that means. I want your eyes red. One of my eyes is red. No, both are. Yeah. You've been chiefing I'm down, crying, fucking. I'm crying, what are you smoking? I'm crying. What did I'm you hurting. smoke? You on meth? A little bit. You want meth? Probably. What is that? Methanol? <laughs> is there meth in cough drops? <laughs> there, I th- there's methanol. That's menthol. Oh, that's how they lie to you, Drew. There's an extra that's, N. That's how these companies lie to you. There's it's an extra menthanol. N. It's exactly what it is. It's a cousin. Okay, it's a cousin of menthanol. <laughs>